Well, you know, as much fun as it was trying to deal with a total of seven locomotives, I see that our options just continue to be those same things. Uh, and we just got the license for our favorite friend. So I think I think we're gonna go. We're gonna leave these trains. Leave them here. I'm gonna go say hi to the machine factory. Folks have been saying in comments that uh, that's where some of the goodies are anyways. So I guess we'll hop over that way. What's up, guys? This is Heist. We're playing DRL Valley, another episode of the career playthrough. We've just unlocked the, the big steam engine. So we're going to go find one and play with it. I guess while we're at the station, we can see what uh, what kind of jobs we've got. Can't do those still. <laughs> Logistical hall license. Well, maybe shunting. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. We have scrap metal, excavators, and excavators. I'm kind of halfway tempted to do that so that we can uh, leave out of the coal mine next time. Let's go make sure we have a steam engine here, and we'll also hit up the shop on the way. Uh, assuming I remember where the shop is in Machine Factory. Somewhere. It's little and blue. Just jump over these walls here. <laughs> hey, there it is. The shop. Want anything from the shop? Let's see. Cassettes, 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 lighter. The locomotive remote. Okay, we do not have... We do not have enough money for these things. We could buy the end of train lantern. Apparently that's a thing. Well, we'll come back when we have money, I guess. Also, the DE6 slug is apparently somewhere vaguely around here as well, but we're going to play the steam engine today. We can we can play with the DE6 slug another day. I know what you guys want. <laughs> that looks like a house that is round. Does it have any steam choo-choos in it? Really? Well, we've got an SO60. That's not what I wanted. I don't want these. I want my big friend. Come on, game. Single tier. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I guess we'll just have to teleport somewhere else then. Perhaps if we go to the coal mine, there will be one, and then we can leave out of the coal mine and do that this episode. And perhaps end up at the machine factory with money. Perhaps. Although that might be a bit much to ask for. Why is it so dark out? Carol Valley is a horror game. Where, there's the station. This loop doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so here's where all the cars are stored. So theoretically, if we have a choo-choo, it'll be up there. And it looks like a DE6. But is there more than one choo-choo? There might be. <laughs> well, welcome to teleport around the map till you find the locomotive you can drive simulator. You taunt me. ESD. ESDT. Yes, very good. We can't run that yet. It's expensive. Um. There's no light here. Let's go to a floodlight. Okay. Well. Steam engines, like, the two most likely places are the two roundhouses, and we didn't get one the first time. We could just go back. Or maybe iron ore? Maybe? Perhaps? It's closer. Let's, let's go there. I figure if they've got steam servicing, they're more likely to spawn steam. I don't know if that's actually a statement of fact or just my imagination or whatever, but... Uh, did they serve trains here, sir? Uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. There it is. Classic. 
the classic ES and D. Oh, the very bright smoke box. <laughs> uh, hello, friend. Hello, our old friend. Hopefully, we won't blow you up today, or maybe we will. I don't know. Let's um, let's get the fire in this thing, and then we'll see about what jobs are here. Just have that there. Katunk. Oh, we were running a bunch of jobs last time. I need to put my shovel back in my inventory. We need to do one of these. Just move, move everything over a wee bit. There we go. <laughs> How many jobs did you have? Well, we ran out of space in the hot bar. Okay. Pow. Yes. Get it hot! Let's do that. Katunk. Katunk. Coal just disappears, but the pressure comes up very quickly. It's fine. So we'll just turn the blower off and just let it cook. And uh, now let's go see what jobs we have at the station. Freebird! Play Freebird! Okay. Uh, it's over there. A little green. A little green bulb there. Looks like there's some excavators and some cars and some stuff. What do we got? Deliver iron ore to the steel mill. Deliver iron ore to the steel mill. <laughs> Load and prepare a train with iron ore for the steel mill. Haul empty cars to the machine factory. Well, that's funny. Uh, we could end up at the machine factory, but we don't have the logistical haul license still. Or did we buy that? We might have bought that. Did we buy that? Nope, still haven't bought that. Okay. Uh, or we could unload and store a train with excavators. Uh, so I guess we're going to the steel mill. And we've got heavy train and not heavy train. Um, it's all downhill from here, not JPEG? Is it? Is it? What's the grade out of the like? I know the grade out of the coal mine is like brutal. There might be a bit of a grade out of the iron ore mine, but like all this down the spaghetti is downhill. That's downhill, and then there's a little bit of uphill into the steel mill. But like I don't see any reason to not just take both of these and just beat the piss out of the steam engine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, we'll do that. We'll just do that. The the 02 and the 99. Why not? We got some iron ore to haul. Uh, okay, but where are those cars? Let's see. They're not in this yard. I'll tell you that much. They're over in that yard. The loaded ones. Those ones. That one! Okay, there's the 99. And then that, that must be the other one right there. <laughs> As I jump through these cars. Okay, yeah, so we just need to grab these two cuts of cars here. And then uh, and then we'll be off. Easy enough. Black plume. Got too much coal and not enough air. Well, you know, life's hard. Where's the water? Is the water full? Kind of looks full. Uh... Huh. Just in case. I think it's full. So, we'll just, uh... <laughs> oh, thank God for chime whistles. I probably want to open the cylinder cocks. Oh, I the oh God, there's all sorts of stuff you have to do with this. Yeah, like, turn on the air compressor. Wake up. And turn on the lubricator. Which is not something that you actually do on one of these. It's fine. Just make sure it has oil in it. Uh, and then the da dynamo. Oh, it's up there. That's right. <laughs> Lights would be helpful. Oh, and there's also a tender handbrake. That would also be part of the problem. Where are my light switches again? It's been a minute since we've gotten to run this thing. Oh, that's right, they're confusingly over here. 
the gear light, right, for seeing the wheels, which is fun. <laughs> but is there not a cab light? The SO6L has one, but I guess the SS282 doesn't have one. Anyway, I get clear of this switch here. Maybe it was this switch. Let's see. Are we aligned? How are we aligned? <clears throat> Let's line ourselves back, shall we? Okay. Go 50 through here? Ridiculous. It's those two cuts, so I guess we'll pull that cut first. Does it look shorter? <laughs> Looks like the, the smart one to grab first. That way we're not stuck with the ridiculous train first thing here. Okay, so we do have a 1.1 across the bridge. So we're gonna have to get a run at this. That's for sure. All right. Sure, that was a whistle signal. And we haven't really gotten this thing running on the road yet, so I'm just gonna keep the cylinder cocks open until we really start to pull. Hey, there's the water. You, you like being able to see where the water's at. Makes you feel better. Okay, blind into those cars. They're just iron ore wagons, so you know, we can bang them around a little bit. Brakes, brakes. It's fine, it's fine. Still fine. Bang! <laughs> the car said, ow! Tender did not care. I don't think the tender cares about anything still. Okay, that was just a fine, fine dunk. This is apparently how we switch in this game these days, is just violence. Okay, so bang into those. Where? There it is. Uh, huh. Thank God for the interaction stuff. Oh, oh. What was that about? Oh, I clicked the thing again. And it did not like that. There we go. How about we try this one then? Fatunk. Alright, now stop trying to move, you difficult child. I left my cab light in the cab, which is making this hard. Can I just, can we just, can I just, oh, oh yeah, look at that. That's, uh, that's the mastermind strat right there. Just place the flashlight on the car. Okay, we're geniuses here. All right, let's charge the air up. Where is your angle cock? There it is. Okay. Got that, and now whose brake is on? Slash, where are your brakes? There they are. Cool, it was that one. All right. And no whistle, we're going forwards. Don't you back talk me. Still got plenty of water, which I'd love to see. The fire's just about dead, but we're switching, so I'll just kind of leave it rancid like that. We gotta pull ahead of these two yard lead switches and then we'll get lined into that last cut. So we can get that switch right now. And we gotta pull us and our five cars ahead of that one right there. Hook up the gear a little bit. Oh, don't let me, don't let me fall off. Probably plenty of speed. Drifts. Just slam the independent brake on. It's fine. 
probably gonna pass that switch. We probably already passed that switch by a lot. Night switching is hard, okay? Alright, that's lined there. Okay, we're all lined to the left. And is <laughs> we now know the strategy here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have a headlight. Don't need one. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> I didn't realize you could do that. Okay. I'm not sure why I didn't try that before this episode. That's uh, that's hilarious. Okay. No, no. Give me the, the bat. There we go. All right. It's uh, the flashlight's protecting the shove. So <laughs> we got this nailed. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. It's a very bright flashlight. Give him credit. The oh, now I don't have a flashlight though. I'll just freebird check the, the water level. There we go. That's probably good on the speed. Safety valve agrees. Just slam on the brakes. It's fine. Only like we're moving many, many tons of iron ore. Yeah, we probably want more breaks than that still. Okay, no, we, we don't need to be slamming on the brakes. We can kick them off and let it roll now. Alright, make the hook flashlight. You got this. Uh-oh. Is he dying? He's saying, my batteries are running low! I can't quite hold this shove! <laughs> Bang! There we are. Got it. And tie in the air. Uh. 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 <laughs> oh, flashlight, did you die? He did. He's dead, Jim. I think it charges uh, solar power. But we, we've now hit the, the part of DRL Valley when the, the flashlight no longer works. And now the monsters are going to come get me because I don't have any lights. Uh, It's not that break? Why would it not be? So it's the break at the other end of this mess all the way over here? That's inconvenient. Let me just run down the center of the gauge of this main track here and untie this brake then. There's no brake on that end. I guess they only have brakes on one end of each of these cars. Yeah, there it is. That was tied. Okay. The sun is rising. And do we, like, can we just shove back on this track? I think we can. It's not like a stub or anything, is it? Yeah, and then that's the loading track. You know, I don't spend enough time with this industry. It's actually pretty cool looking. And then it's got like a reverse loop or something. Okay, so we should be able to just shove this whole mess back, get a pretty good run at it, and then uh, pray we make it up the hill. <laughs> I believe. Flashlight still dead. Okay. Play Freebird! I'm setting the moon on fire. It's fine. The flashlight did a valiant service for us. Alright. Let's shove this thing back here. Yes, I know. You're, you're full of steams. And apparently not full of water. Where did that go? More fire, more water, more steam. Definitely feel the weight that we're shoving around with this train. The throttle's wide open. We're darn near in the corner in reverse, and it's just... Just having the time of it. God, I love this thing. <laughs> it's 
probably easier if we take the lantern and put him on this side of things. Whistle wants the beans! That's very true. Alright, that's probably pretty solid on the space to get a running start at this. Just slam the independent on and we'll be fine. I'll leave the water go. We're gonna jump out, just let that thing come to a stop wherever it comes to a stop. And now we're gonna run to the station office and toss the things in the thing. Katunk. Katunk. Alright, now it's on. Us versus the clock with the S-282 that is still attempting to stop. It's thinking about it. It really is thinking about it. I guess we'll just set up a little air then. And then release it right away on the train. Like, come on. This is heavy. This is going to be fun to take downhill. Can smell that already. Let's not waste all our air, shall we? Water's full. Here we go. Throttle on the ceiling. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, I guess I need to release the air. It's fine. The independent still on ice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Let's give her sand. Give it sand! We got places to be. Beautiful. <laughs> Just rolling black out first thing in the morning. It's fine. That's plenty of chuffs with the uh, cocks open. We'll get them closed. Just gonna leave it wide open in the corner with the sand on and just work this thing because we, we got places to be. And the places are over the hills and far away. <laughs> Came for the Deer Elk Valley, stayed for the Led Zeppelin jokes. Anyone? Anyone? Just me? Okay. Probably hook it up a little bit now. More coal for the hole. Oh my god, we're gonna hit the hill and we're gonna be doing like 25 kilometers an hour, maybe, if that. It's not a long hill. It's not. It's just to get across the bridge. And then I'm then I'm pretty sure it's pretty flat over there until we reconverge, so actually I'm just gonna give it everything. We're just gonna keep giving it everything. Fall out the engine trying to lean out it. It's fine. That's a lot of iron ore cars behind us. <laughs> Alright, we're on the hill. And we're, we hit it doing about 35, actually. Water sloshed to the rear. Gauge is full. You love to see it. And it's actually really not bogging us down too bad. I guess that hill's really short. And the fire... <laughs> We're just gonna burn down the country. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Come on, sweetheart. It's slowing down a little bit, but really not bad. Merging in. 60, and now we're gonna be going downhill, so we will hook the gear back up, kick the sand off. We did lose a little steam, though. More coal for the hole. And downhill, we're gonna have the water slosh the other way. Get, getting it up to about 60, so. As we increase speed, I'm gonna bring the cutoff back. So we're not wasting steam. We got an 80 through here. And then a 60 immediately after, okay. Try and get it up to 60 here. Beautiful dawn chorus. <laughs> oh! What? 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 That everything's just gone wrong. What the hell was that? Why did you go Cthulhu mode? You had a full sight glass. What? 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 Oh 
Oh boy. We've made a mess. Did we just hit like some crazy grade transition or something? <laughs> oh man, we've, we've, made, we've made quite the mess. There may, there may not be any salvaging that. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Yes, it is in fact time to pee in a cup. Um. 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 I, I'm at a loss for words. Like, I need to, like... We need to do an investigation here. Why did this do this? It just, like, it literally spontaneously exploded. There has to have been, like, a ridiculous grade change. No! There was no grade change there. There's no grade change there. We, like, we got down, like, it went from going up a percent to down a percent. There's just no way. There's just no way. Do you think they've spawned another locomotive over there by now? Okay, so... That was, that bridge is like a 1.4 or something. And this is a 1.3, so like a total change of like 2.7%. And we were full, like out the top on the uphill. We wouldn't have gone down that fast or that far. Shouldn't have. And then there was no other grade change. It just, it just, be it just became spice. There was no grade change there. It was fine right up until it wasn't. Well, that's um. That's a whole thing. Which job is that? That's the zero two. Did we derail all the cars of the zero two or the 99? The 99 is the short one, right? Okay. No, that car is zero two and it's derailed. <laughs> that's not good. Um, that's the 99. Okay, so thankfully the cars for the 99 are the ones that are littered all over everywhere. Um, but that's bad because I, so I'm still gonna have to rerail this one car and if I uncouple it it's just gonna go into the drink attempt to go into the drink at least it didn't, it didn't fall over see look it's fine can confirm the player weighs nothing Get me up! There we go. <clears throat> if I uncouple this one, it'll go for quite the ride, but thankfully that car is just now sliding out of the way. Do we have the money <laughs> to, to, to re-rail this car? Yes, we do. Okay. Bang. All right, so the job zero two is theoretically salvageable. Let's tie that up. Uh, we're gonna have to get another locomotive, and I don't think I have the money to clear all these cars. Must be. Oh god, you have to. Yeah, you have to rerail them first. Okay, so what are our options? We can't. We cannot run down this route. So we could go back out and then run down that way. We can go the other way. We just need to see if we have another locomotive, I guess. Now that I've sat here and pondered that. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to use for the thumbnail of this, because this is like, this is just pure chaos. <laughs> this might be pretty good. Cars strewn around in the back. It's fine. Poor, poor Choo Choo. I don't even know what number you were. We just blew you up. There was foreshadowing. Mickey, you better have fun with that foreshadowing. Uh, while we're here, I mean, we might as well play drop more train cars off the hill. Oh, it's the brake release. Can we get the, the squiggly? Yes. Bye! Dunk. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. I guess now we run back to the iron ore mine and see if we got a new locomotive. I hope so. I really hope so. 
Yeah. <clears throat> and hopefully it's something that's got some some huevos. Because uh, this is still a really heavy train. <laughs> we get back there and there's a DE2. We're going to have a time. Uh, night shift did it. Night shift did it. It's day shift now because the sun's up. That's how that works, right? Pretty sure that's how that works. I still can't believe it blew up. Like, maybe I'm just too used to uh, tipping over in our engines and it not doing it like that much because, okay, yeah, we don't have any, we don't have any locomotives here. Okay, so we're going to have to teleport and come back. We're going to have to spend the last money we have here. Coal mine's probably far enough away. Yeah, we, and we can afford to, so we'll do that. Um, so at the museum, we go 3.5% three, three grade up. And then we go 4% down, like right afterwards. And so we're always doing that dance. And you go from the top of the sight glass to the bottom, or out the top to just in the bottom. But then there's still four inches below the bottom of the glass, or 3.5, I want to say, uh, before you uh, <clears throat> you actually uncover the crown sheet. And so a 3% change should not have taken the water and flipped it that much. And we did not work the engine for long enough, hard enough. Although I guess, you know, uh, that's real. That's not video game. Video game might be uh, exaggerating things for gameplay's sake, which fair enough. Uh, so, you know, maybe I should just stare at the water more, dot PNG. Well, that's very helpful of you, game. I really wanted a DE6. <laughs> you really want me to spend all of my money teleporting back and forth, don't you? What did we do in this episode of D-Roll Valley? We teleported. Lots of teleportation. It's fine. What do we have here? The coal mine. Another DE6. It's fine. <laughs> the coal mine wouldn't help us anyway, because it's downhill of the wreck. So we really have to have it spawn at the iron mine. I assume these are far enough away that they're letting locomotives spawn. That's how we got the DE6. But that's the same DE6, though. How much money do I have? Got like maybe another two teleports, maybe. So we should probably spend it on one that would go far away. 850, oh, we're gonna have to run back from there then. Do we go to the military base? Military base is cheap and then we can, then we can run away to try and get more distance to hope that it respawns something. Or maybe the military base has a locomotive we can use. Uh, that's gonna be a no. Can't even go inside. Okay, let's see. We, uh, military base, the, the tracks through the military base are the direction that is further away from the iron ore mine. So we're gonna run that way. Cause we gotta get everything to despawn over there. All the, all the while, the, the clock is ticking on this job. We should probably bin this job too. Cause then I think the car is my auto clear. I don't remember. It's fine. What bridge is that? Doesn't really show on the map, does it? I don't even think we're that far away. Like, we can't be as far away as the coal mine is, though. I don't know how far away you need to go. Well, I'm just gonna keep running. And then, uh... Yeah, and then if we go back to the iron ore mine and, th and then there's just another DE6, like, then there's nothing we can do. I'm gonna have to run somewhere to get a locomotive. I hope that RNG doesn't hate me that bad. Like, yeah, I blew up the steam engine, but like, cut a bro some slack, you know? <laughs> Happens all the time. They're a dime a dozen, aren't they? Oh, uh, there's a lake over there. That's a land, okay. Yeah, so that curve, so we just keep going this way. <laughs> Off into the uncharted wilderness of DRL Valley. Despawn that DE6, please. Like, we gotta be, like, at that lake to get as far away as the coal mine even was. Well, I guess let's try it. 
I guess we could always grab a shunting job. But we still don't- we wouldn't have a locomotive though, that's still a problem. Crap! Okay, well, I'm just going to... The 99. The 99 is- is- is set. Oh, lost and found- hey look, I guess we did leave that on a locomotive that blew up. Uh, so while we're here, we'll just throw away that. Bin him. Um, we could do a shunting job to make money if we had a locomotive that we could use. But we don't. And we don't even have enough money to teleport to the military base probably anymore. Um, I guess I'm going to run up to those cars and release the brakes and then... We're just going to railroad like it's 1895 and pray. Did it, did, did throwing that away, get rid of those cars? It looks like it did because they're on a downgrade. If we, if we release all the brakes, we can run with no locomotive down the hill. It's fine. This is the, uh, the oh, this is just so dumb. This is so dumb. This is just, no, just how did it come to this? So much death. Oh boy. <clears throat> and there's no snap to get in the cars. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll as far as we can roll and grab a locomotive on the way somewhere, I guess. How how's that time bonus looking? 91 minutes? We still got time. We still got time. We have all of the time. Okay. Uh brake pipes probably zeroed out. Where are your bleeders? There they are. Okay, brakes off. Are you all facing the same way? Of course not. Like, come on, start rolling, please. You're on a hill. Who's who's set up still? Why are these so inconsistent to get to? Okay. Do 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 do. So what we're doing, uh, when you dump the brake pipe, zero out the brake pipe, you know, because you broke it, uh, you basically put the train in emergency, and then the brake cylinders just extend all the way and put the brakes on super hard. And you have to go and release them manually if you don't have a source of air to charge the train up. So that's what we're doing. However, none of these are apparently set up, which is not good. Not good. Where? Oh, it sort of rolled when I did that. It didn't make any sounds. Oh, and what a good time for the D key of my keyboard to stop working. Oh, is she rolling now, boys? <clears throat> kind of. Oh, it's just this one that's set up then. But like, okay, it started to work for a sec there. Bottle that. Where are the bleeds over here? It's like I still have brakes on. Why are you still squealing? All right, well, meet meet the new locomotive. Not 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 like the old locomotive. Can we ride from up top here? Uh, okay, where are, where are brakes? We're gonna want to figure that out ASAP. Oh god, with the short teleport range. Okay, there's a brake there. Okay, we can get them from up here. How fast do we think we're going, viewers? Not that fast. If we make the time bonus with this strategy, I'm going to giggle. I'm going to giggle really, really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speed limit 60. We're definitely not doing 60. How effective are the handbrakes? Let me give a little a rolling brake test here. Brake on. 
Uh, not very. Okay. Oh, that brake was already on. That was why it was shrieking. Oh, yeah, because when you re-rail... Oh, so yeah, this whole train's just bursting through this one handbrake. That makes a lot more sense now. Okay. Well, you know, let's get two brakes tied then, shall we? Oh, God, and get run over. You know what? Three brakes sounds nice. I think we want to be ahead on the handbrakes rather than behind on the handbrakes when we're talking about however many loaded <laughs> loaded iron ore hoppers. I'd like to feel the brakes doing something, you know? It's fine. It's fine. This is, uh, this is railroading or something. Allegedly. Got the first five of them set now and it doesn't feel like we're slowing down no we're definitely slowing down okay well we, we got to keep some amount of speed though is the thing okay that's off get that one off we're lined to the left which way do we need to be lined uh, to the right. Crap, 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 crap. Switch! Switch! <laughs> that is the switch we're thinking of, right? That's gotta be the switch. It's the first diverging switch we've seen. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Oh god. That's the sound of dead brake shoes. Oh, this is gonna be just a, oh no, this is, this is, this is bad. 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 Why does it smell like Kenosha? <laughs> so apparently we should be thoughtful about which brakes we turn on. Please get me out of the load. Are these guys just like glowing orange down there? Is there any saving them or are they just metal on metal? Who knows? There may not be any saving those. It's fine. Hopefully we'll have some amount of brake shoes by the time we get down the hill. This just all going wrong. <clears throat> I don't like the fact that this one was doing that sound either. Maybe I shouldn't be giving him full, full breaks. It's probably unwise. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna start braking from the back just because we're gonna run out of brakes that work. We can apparently be doing 80, but I know that there's 40s that come up through this squiggle because we're, we're on the approach to the squiggle right now. So maybe we'll, we'll just trim, just trim the brake. It's a little trim, not a, not a full, not a full kill, you know? Like partway on brakes. Oh god. There 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 are going to be no brakes on this train. And we're getting we're getting faster. I don't like this! <laughs> I liked it more when I had a locomotive. Okay, so we'll just not turn it on to squealing. How about that? Oh crap. <laughs> the amount of times I've fallen through train cars. We are going too fast for this. We are going too fast for this. Just turning these handbrakes most of the way on. Okay, we're on the bridge over ourselves, the squiggle. 
yeah, so we're, we're right there. So we have the whole squiggly, and then that's the spicy bit down there. And if we can make it through, that junction's super slow. That's going to be the challenge. Okay, so it's sort of feeling like full handbrakes were a mistake. But partial handbrakes seem to be vaguely okay-ish. And now we need to see, do we get brakes back if they cool down? Or, or do we just permanently kill brakes? Because I don't know. I'm not sure what, they, what they've simulated with, like, brake fade. The brakes actually work better once they heat up with the, the modern comp shoes, composition brake shoes. Uh, they work a lot better. Oh, we do get brakes back. Okay, well now I feel so much better. Um, un un until you, of course, you grind like all of the brake shoe off. And then the brakes don't do anything. You know? Well, I mean, you just ruin the wheel and the brake rigging because you're ramming the brake head into the wheel instead of uh, instead of a brake shoe. But the, uh, the shoes originally were iron. And a lot of the stuff for Big Steam is still actually iron and custom and stuff. Which is one of the reasons why Big Boy uses diesels and everything, the dynamic brakes and whatever, is because the uh, the brake shoes are so expensive to get them custom made for that diameter wheel. Because they have to be contoured and everything. Uh, but pretty much everything you buy these days are composite material. So... That's how unscared I am. I'm ready to do a dissertation on brake shoes. Okay. Seem to be doing pretty good speed. There's another car screaming about existence over here. We'll head back to the front and start cycle braking the handbrakes again. Now that we know that the brakes come back when they cool off. Oh god. Be really careful with the hops across cars. <laughs> well, we're not doing 60 yet, so you know, we'll, we'll just keep going. We're honestly probably doing like 40. So I'm just gonna let it roll. Let it roll, baby, roll! <laughs> How did it go? Poorly. Poorly is the answer. Okay, that's where the alignment from the military base comes in. And, uh... Yeah. I still can't believe that steam engine blew up. I'm gonna have to get used to their sloshing mechanic, because that's very, very much less than what the real thing would do. I don't want to get wiped off by that tree. There's that 40 that I was talking about, and it's starting to rain. That's not good. I don't have windshield wipers on a hopper. We're gonna pinch a brake on here. I'm gonna pinch a couple brakes on. Alright, into the tunnel we go. Yeah, we'll just we'll just hold it at two. Two brakes seems fine until the sign says we're gonna go spicy downhill or something. Yes, and we are. Okay, it's fine. D key, if you could like work all the time, that'd be nice. I need a new keyboard, evidently. This one's worn in pretty well, so. Let's see. <laughs> Just start stacking all the brakes on. Can we see the flaming brake shoes up there now? That's making the, the, the lightly spiced derail sounds. These aren't the, the mega spicy derail sounds. Oh boy. He says, falling off the train. Well, the speed seems pretty well in check. Actually, it's slowing down pretty significantly. Let's see about kicking some brakes off. Shush. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Who's brake still on? You. Shush. <laughs> Nobody else's brake is on, right? 
No, I hear one. We can't stop. We don't have a locomotive to get us going again if we stop. Get me out! Which one of you traitorous buffoons? You. Oh no. Yeah, the brakes got a little warm, didn't they? Now it's rolling the wrong way. <laughs> when did the grade go the other way? Did it change right here? <laughs> but we don't have a locomotive! <laughs> it doesn't say it changes! Ugh. Well... That's unfortunate. Where where are we? We are in the squiggle. Can we afford to teleport to the food factory? Yes. There goes all of my money. I will take any locomotive in a storm at this point. Is my pile of like five locomotives still here? Where in the hell in the food factory did it put me? Oh, over here. Okay. We have $16, friends. <laughs> I don't feel like you're going up a hill. Oh my god, thank god. My pile of locomotives. My reserve pile of locomotives is here. Oh, but we got a DM3 this time. Cool. Uh, I will just take the two diesel hydraulics and we will go fix this. Two diesel hydraulics ought to be good for however many tons this is, right? It's a thousand tons. They might not be enough. It's fine. It's down. It's mostly downhill, except for the one bit that we found that wasn't. Okay. Wake up. Go. Yes, something something handbrakes. Patently aware about handbrakes today. All right, come on. Places, places to be. I also realized that we did not tie a handbrake on those cars, which means that they're gonna valley like a roller coaster until we get back there. That is fine. We will sort that problem when we get there. We're, pro we're problem solving today, ladies and gents. Bang. D key, please. All right, that looks like we're not lined into anything that's gonna hurt us. Cool. We're going a little fast. It's straight track though. Gotta, gotta go rescue this job. It's fine. Let's pinch it down to reasonable track speed here, because it's gonna be spicy through here. I wanna say it's like 30 through most of these, so. Okay, so for the uninitiated, we teleported to the food factory. Our train is stuck valleyed somewhere right in there. So it's a, gonna be a short run in reverse, hook into the cars, tow them the rest of the way to the steel mill. Might still make the time bonus. Probably. Oh my god. Barely, barely ran the steam engine, blew it up. Something, something, something hubris. It's fine. And my D key is just being very persnickety. There we go. It's kind of working, sort of. 50, speed and power. I'll just let it coast, because I don't trust this alignment. It's pretty squiggly. So it's liable to change to not 50 pretty quickly. So that was the bridge we were on earlier, before we went into those tunnels. There's that 30. 
goes up a 2% grade though. We've slowed down to almost 30 anyways. We'll just we'll actually start pulling a little bit. As long as we don't increase speed too bad. It's like first throttle notch maybe. And then I have no idea which way our switch is lined. I also have no idea where we're going to encounter our friends. The, uh, the iron ore cars that we left with no brakes. Come on, train! Guess we're on the grade now. Okay, coming up to that junction. Shutting down to just... No, we don't want to be quite that idle. Into the tunnel. Really not going to get to get much advance notice on the switch, are we? It should be lined to the right. We need it to be lined to the left. Because we came from the harbor last time. That yard limit sign or junction sign is super far away from the junction, actually. Interesting. That's ah, fine. So yeah, we still haven't even quite got to it yet. That's the other track right there, so we gotta be coming up on it, more or less. Gonna have to be ready to snipe it as soon as we see the switch stand. Okay, sharp curve, bridge. Another bridge there, that's gotta be part of the junction. There we go. 40 to the left, 30 to the right. We want to go to the left. Okay, and now we need to be on danger. Watch out for loose iron ore cars. This uh, is probably a dumb idea. Most of the way I play Dural Valley is pretty dumb, actually, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll not worry about that. I saw someone on Reddit talking about how, uh, why do people do all these crazy things trying to get the time bonuses in Tyrell Valley? And I'm like, why you gotta do me like that? What, what if, what if the most fun you can have playing a train video game is doing all of the dumb stuff that you can't do on a real train? Okay, I'm just gonna shut off and we'll get our switch lined just as soon as we roll past it. So we're ready when we come back with cars. And we're going to be on the watch for loose rolling iron ore cars now. I wonder if they still have physics applied if, I, if they're out of frame. Like if they're out of a certain distance. They probably don't have physics. Probably. That would be smart, one would assume. But I don't know. We got a 70 through here, so we can rip the stick a little bit, but I genuinely don't know when and where I'm gonna encounter those cars. If smells like Kenosha is playing right now, uh, everyone should be scared. I don't see the cars yet. Fifty and we're doing fifty. Okay. Okay, we're around this bend ish. Forty. There they are. Okay. Are they rolling? They don't look like they're rolling. They might have pulled to a stop and or not had physics. This is, that was just like the the cutest little stupid hump and they stopped because I had one extra break on. Single tier. And Hero's hoping to make it further, but I mean, at the end of the day, we still would have had to have grabbed a locomotive to get up that final pull to the steel mill, so we had a little fun. We do a little trolling. Okay, they look like they're stationary-ish. Stationary adjacent, perhaps. All right, that's good speed. Just jump out. 
and get ready to skadunk them. Pow. Air is cut in. Can we break anything with that? Nope. Uh, well, maybe a little bit. It's fine. Might also have been from the, uh, the brakes being destroyed. We have a train. We have a train again. Look at that. Uh, now we got places to be. Where is the ding ding? Not the ding ding. The Hong Kong. Oh, right. Right there. Places to be, ladies and gents. Okay, yes, I get it. Uh, sand. Go. Heat up them, them oils. Wreck him too bad. Is one of them complaining about something? No, it's just the sound of the exhaust, I guess. Alright. <laughs> the third loco second and third locomotive to be used in this expedition. Oh, come on. This is barely a hill. There we go. Noisy trains. Doesn't seem like it's trying to overheat or anything, so that's good. So we could probably rip it even further. Get a little speed going. And it looks like we're gonna start heading down grade again. So we managed to valley the train in like the one spot that was possible to valley the train. Nailed it. But yeah, the, the it's downhill from there all the way through this, and then it's pretty flat. And then you start working up a grade right here. And so we would have had to teleport to the steel mill to grab a locomotive and pick it up or, or something along the way. It re really doesn't matter. So we would have ended up like this. And, uh, you know, food factory where we left our trains last time. Uh, convenient. Two diesel hydraulics that we could just pair together and just do the thing with. So that's helpful. 40. Speed limit's 40, so I guess we can just let that do the thing. Start squeezing on some dynamic brake. A lot of dynamic brake. Let's not blow up a gearbox, shall we? But get some air. Get some air. Iron ore's heavy. All the brakes. We're using every kind of brake we have. Gearboxes cool off a little bit. Melt some brake shoes instead. Okay, we'll release that. Let it coast. We're lined to the left. So we've got a 30 to the left. We'll slam on the dinos for that. And squeeze a good amount on the train. We're only going, you know, 33% faster than we should be through there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, and it's 60 coming up ahead, but we we need to kind of keep it pinched down until the rest of the train snakes through that corner there. And my D key is not working again. There it is, sort of. New keyboard time. Okay. The train's probably in the clear now. Places to be! It's a 60 through here, so just burn the jets. I'm getting warm. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Get me up to speed, and then then we'll let you cool down, friend. Oh, about 60. Let things cool down. All right, we're accelerating a little bit. Squeeze on some dynamic brake. Heat those boys right back up. But it kept the speed in check just long enough. Yeah, 
dynamic brakes are much better at speed than they are at slow speed. So they really heat up the, uh, they really heat up the <laughs> gearbox oil real fast. And it's just perfect for keeping a little trim on the speed right through here without uh, trying to, you know, light more brake shoes on fire. So we meander through this beautiful little digital landscape. Okay, 60. I don't know which way we're lined. We should be lined to the right, but we will check it. Whenever we can see the switch stand. Okay, we're lined to the right here. This is the oil well. The next one we're theoretically lined to the left, because last time we went and uh, when we did the big the big job, we stopped at Goods Factory on the way. So that's going to be lined probably to the Goods Factory. I don't think I realigned it. I guess I'm a bad kid. Disobeying timetable instructions, you know, as you do. Skadunk. Oh, yep. And there it is right there. Line to the left. Now it's line to the right. And we're not quite doing 60, so come on. Flatten off. Pretty much. Seventy right, places to be, folks. We're gonna want to carry some momentum for that hill at the steel mill when we get there, because this is still a pretty heavy train, a thousand tons. I don't know if these things are gonna be good for that. I'm gonna end up at the B3 inbound. It's pretty easy to get to, at least. Diesel hydraulic does not seem to want to climb up to 70 here. Yeah, I'm really hot. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Diet. Dial it back, see if it can cool down a little bit so we can punish it later. Yeah, it's still accelerating, even not all the way. We're just not turning all of the oil into heat. Okay, so we're now that across that bridge. We're on this pretty flat straight section here, so... Beans! All of the beans! do a hundred. If we had a steam train, we would be doing a hundred. Somebody blew it up, though. Oops. Oopsie. Well, it crossed the, the 70 threshold here. Somewhat faster than the, uh, the DE2, at least. The oil's not happy about it, though. So we'll dial it back again and let it cool off. See if we can keep the acceleration going. We could, like 76 to 77. It seems to be holding while the oil cools, which is good. And we've got a 70 coming up. Um, and we're over 70, but I'm going to leave the, the hammer down. We ought to be able to cruise around that at 77. The conservative speed limits, don't you know? Because the, the, the climb to the steel mill is going to be right through that cut, basically. So we're going to want to hit it with everything we got. It's not much of a climb, but we have a lot, a lot of heavy train behind us. I'm going to wait until I 
start to slow down to really rip on it too. It's 70 and there's the grade. 0.9% this actually not that bad. But we are now slowing down so we're gonna get it wide open. Start burning the oil if we can. 60, okay. We'll shut back and let the grade eat us a little bit. You can see how quick the speed's falling though. Pull it wide open again. Okay, I really made that hill out to be a lot more than it was. Because that's the steel mill right there. All right, so we'll just let the grade slow us down and we're going to the B3, right? B3, B3? Yeah, B3, okay. That'll probably be to the left. Oh God, we are going very fast for this. Uh, three is probably that one. <laughs> Got it at the last second, it's fine. <laughs> like we planned it that way. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, good heavens. It's fine. It's fine. Something tells me that we're going to be in debt for blowing up a steam engine. <laughs> and for derailing that other job. Alright. Slam on the air. Get this thing uh, all wrapped up here. Set out with two jobs and a steam engine and we ended up with two diesel hydraulics in one job. It's, uh, just the average day on the ES and t It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Our copay only got really expensive this last time we started playing the game. So, uh, yeah, that was fun being not in debt for a brief second. Kapow, look at that. 51 minutes, base payment, $61,000. Okay. So we made 92 grand. That's, uh, that's good. That's good. I like that. Um, oh, I guess we can see. Uh, did we? We did some damage to it. That one car. It's two grand worth of damage. It's fine. Let's bin that. Okay, fees. Okay, we only need to pay two hundred forty-six thousand dollars. And uh, yeah, we're in debt. We're officially in debt. So there it is. Got ninety-two grand though. So you know, only like a hundred fifty thousand to go. We'll, we'll get there. It's fine. Yeah, that's uh, that's a certifiable oopsie. What do we have? Uh, what do we have for motive power here for next time? Do we have anything fun that we can blow up? I mean, run. I mean, blow up. I mean, run. Show me the Monet. What do we have? What is it? It's just like a DE2 or something. A DE2 and a DM3. Well, we'll never get to run one of those. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, Night Shift did it. Bye!